happening, folks? It's me, Phone 4, and I am here with my next commentary of the crew, as will be our next look at what to say now. It's Gates to Beat. That's right, we've got the great matchups here as we've got the one and only team. It's the Washington Mystics facing against the Indiana Fever. Now, this is the part of the next game as the next guest coach for the Mystics, right in between, of Eric Football, and was named the head coach for the franchise history. Entering the first year of spending the last 10 seasons as a Mystics guest assistant coach, and the last four an associate head coach. And for the Indian Fever, it's Chris B. Sides. But the one of the news to fill this arena, and it's incredibly loud. This is what they always do. When they say loud, let's hope that it gets more. Here is starting lineups for the Mystics. There's Carly Samuelson, Ariel Atkins, Brittany Skies, Stephanie Dolson, and Shakira Austin. Now the other side for the Indian Fever. Eric, Erica Wheeler, Kelsey Mitchell, Katie Law Samuelson. And across the other angle, we have Miss Nelly Shell Smith. And Ilya Boston. Now, let's get you covered here as Blake, Tim, and Brian stand by at the Game Bridge Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana. Let's find out what the next game comes in. See you later, everybody, for the halftime show and the post game show. It's game time. Let's roll. Continues to work on her three-point shot. When Sykes can consistently stretch the floor, it's over for opposing defenses. Now here's Boston. Right side, Wheeler. Picked her clean. Pass to Atkins. Dolson up top. Nails the wide-open jump shot. When a player has confidence like Dolson, you see the pass coming and expect her to take the shot immediately. Outside Wheeler. Mitchell. The basket good off the assist from Erica Wheeler. Look, I'm not sure who was supposed to pick her up, but someone's going to get an earful from the coach for leaving her that wide open. Pass to Dolson. Here in the first with a little over a minute played so far. And here's Samuelson. Six to shoot. Three-pointer. Mitchell grabs the board. Very close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Not a 
great habit to get into. Letting her get that wide open. And you're watching Alyssa Smith. She is explosive and she is versatile. Right. Yeah. I mean, you see her athleticism at the rim and in transition. But she's also highly skilled. She can hit the three, post you up, beat you off the bounce. I mean, she's just a tough cover. Now here's Boston. Outside Wheeler. 16 feet out. And a rebound goes to the Mystics. Well, she rushed that one. He was out of position, but she couldn't make a pay. Outside Atkins, pass to Austin. Atkins. Now Dolson. It's hauled in by Boston. Here's the fever with the ball. Trailing by four. Wheeler with it. This one for three. Gets a three-pointer to fall. Yeah, very nice feed by Mitchell there. She's a team-oriented player who enjoys setting the table for open teammates. Outside Atkins. From the arc. And it's holding by Melissa Smith. Just like me, nine times out of ten, she's going to bury the three when she's left all alone like that. To the middle. Here's Samuelson. They now take the lead. That takes tremendous focus. Samuelson has some elite shooting ability, which means she scores when it's hard. Now Atkins. And here's Samuelson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. The defenders didn't really even get a sniff of her on that move to the iron. Pass to Samuelson. Back to Wheeler. Here's Smith. Guarded by Dolson. Now here's Wheeler. Tight defense on her. The layup off target. The Mystics with the lead. Now Atkins. She's covered by Mitchell. Now Samuelson. From deep. It's hauled in by Leah Boston. Outside. Pass to Wheeler. Takes the three. And the fever hit again for me. Well, Wheeler's three ball has come a long way. And her improvement also helps her team space it. I don't know what's the mystics. Decided to talk it over. We're on the U.S. Virgin Islands. So we have Austin moved to the U.S. at 12 to pursue basketball. Man, that was a good decision. Yeah, that was a very good decision. I mean, Aaliyah had to go from one Virgin Islands to cold New England, but she thrived in the States. In college, multiple national players, awards, and of course, Aaliyah lost in the top pick of the 2023 draft. You see what happens right now. The better of a take for this is happening with the recent game that she has been finally been playing it. She's now a professional from University of Iowa, and guess who she's on? It's Caitlin Cook. One of the better ones in here after playing with the part of the WNBA and after with the close coaching of his staff, the ability was taken over to Caitlin Park Effect. She was really noticing how well she has been playing it for, but his co her coach is definitely watching it, and it's all with the day has happened. Yeah, so you, know, so you know what happens now. Caitlin Park is one of the better ones to take. A uh, woman's prop, prop, uh, top of priority of the athletes that have done really well. And I'm guessing right now that Clark is going to show how it is done. So there's going to be a watch out there to get ready for the club. And we'll be seeing that with you for next season, right to the lineup, to get right in the club. But she's happy enough to help her team out. Back to you, Blake. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Allen from outside. Good on the triple. Laser focus. Hines Allen was ready to fire the second she got the ball. The fever trailing. Christy Wallace on the wing. Pass to Boston. Berger. Here's Mitchell. And another basket for Indiana. And Washington has possession. Here's Melbourne. Now Heinz Allen. Here's Walker 
get rolled, and they pick up two. Now here's Mitchell. Five points in the game. Saxton, covered by Heinz Allen. Now here's Wallace. He's covered closely. Off to a good start as she hits her first shot attempt. This has been a thriller. You can't say enough about the way these teams have battled each other. All signs point to this thing going all the way down to the wire. I'd be shocked if it ended any other way, Tim. I'd certainly take that right. Now here's Walker Kimbrough. Four on the clock. It's Melbourne. The Fever pull it in. The left wing. Burger with it. Wyatt so far offensively is searching for a first points of the game. Two physical points from Burger. Not a place. Washington trailing. Now Melbourne. Saxon grabs the miss. Indiana with the ball. Pass to Burger. Saxton. That one, good for two. I'll we'll see the entire floor. When Berger has the ball, your offense is in good hands. Now Richards. Now here's Austin. Okay, started by Boston. Here's Walker Kimbrough. Clock at six. It's Melbourne. Austin. From down in the low post, it goes. This is you know, she's not going to force anything on offense. Austin plays within the flow of the game, takes smart shots. Austin outside. Pass to Berger. Back to Boston. Watches it. And it would have counted out. As the end of the first four. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. And so far, it's been a closely contested game as we get the second quarter going. And what stands out to you from the fever in this one? I love the effort on the glass right out of the gate from there. And it takes effort from all five players to get a rebounding advantage like this. The Fever leading. Yes! Yeah. 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 I love the skill of Boston, you know, how she just plucks it down in the rim around the hoop. Just sensational. And she takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. She always knows where her teammates are going to be, and she'll have that ball there waiting for them. Pass to hole. Boston, guarded by Austin. Now here's Hull. Here's Wheeler. And there the Fever with another bucket. Wheeler in her bag. What a move. Here's the Mystics with the ball. It's a five-point game. And here's Dolson. And we played through the first minute here in the second. Holds it. And it's Atkins missing. Not sure what the D was doing there. She's not the player to give open looks to, but they got away with it that time. Pass to Wheeler. Samuelson. So the whistle blows on the shot. Two free throws for the contact there. First personal foul team. Man, there's so many great players on the outside of the United States in this league. But who do you guys think is the best international player? That John Quill, Joe. Honestly, I don't even think it was much two shots. the base. The Bahamas native was first team all WNBA, one of only two international players to make first team since 2010. Yeah, Jones has cleared every other international player. Her work ethic is incredible, and she's done so much to improve her game. And the first one at the line is good. You know what's pretty insane right now? Because if Hava Samuelson was able to do what, what she does, it's better to take over. 
A lot of practices was a lot harder than I expect, but playing for the real team wasn't even easy enough to take all of it at once. And that's good as she hits both shots. That's what you can say for now. And Washington has possession. Big trail by seven. Outside Atkins. And another three for Washington. A dynamic and efficient distance shooter. Atkins has established her perimeter presence. Pass the hole. Back to Wheeler. Boston. Guarded by Austin. Here's Hole. Here's Samuelson. Smith. Over Dolson. Score to the basket. Nice shot after missing her first attempt. Yeah, she's got that shot down. Confident stroke for Smith. Austin with it. Dolson with it. Covered by Smith. To the paint. Here's Samuelson. Bucket is good. That pass led her so perfectly. She didn't even have to break stride. Smith outside. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in this second quarter. Oh. A fever rebound. Outside Wheeler. Shot clock at six. Another shot, and it's Dolson with the rebound. She had all the space she needed, but just could not find the bottom of the bucket. Here's Samuelson, guarded by Wheeler. Austin inside, Smith is there. Soft touch off the glass. So much improvement in terms of passing the ball for Dolson. She came into the league at about an assist per game, and she has tripled that rate. Here's Samuelson. Austin, good. Washington calls timeout. Timeout, Washington is next. Man, they were just going back, off, back, good, good. You know what happens right now after the Mystics, and then they were coming in right now to the fever. They're all over the line right this moment. <laughs> Talk about that one in between, but this one seemed to be like it's a crazy impact. Whenever you can't call a foul, you just don't even see what goes on. You know, playing how terrific it is, that's what they all have to go for. <laughs> I definitely know it has to be like a gray ass scenario step. Make it look clean, make it look fresh. And speaking of fresh, right now we have a halftime show coming up for you. That will be the end of the first half. We got a great static runs in between the Mystics and the Fever, but there is a close range of bound. They are trailing by four for the Mystics. We'll see if this one comes to a close game to for the end of the first half and then get started for the second half. We'll find out what goes in. So that will be the halftime show that will be coming up later after the first half of the game. Now we send you over back to Blake. So it's Washington now. And here's Samuelson. Sykes outside. The tray. And Samuelson pulls it down. Outside Wheeler. Pass to Samuelson. And here's Cole, defended by Atkins. From the wing, Wheeler can't get it to go. Well, she didn't have a hand in her face, so I thought she was for sure going to bury that. Here's Samuelson, guarded by Wheeler. Here's Samuelson. Ariel Atkins outside. Now here's Boston. Pass to Smith. Over Dolson. Shots good by Smith. I like when Boston is selfless like this. So good at connecting with open teammates. Sykes outside. That drops and 
You know what sometimes happens right now? I think their offensive ability has been like jumping to be like a lot of takes in between. The ultimate of this game can be a little bit challenging, but I guess that there might be one change that we get there from the big pass. You know, I'd say good back is really like a hard way to do this one. When you say that the Indiana Baker are really like working it all hard up on the flow, it looked like that the Indiana Pacers have already done really well. Tyree Silverberg, I mean, what are you going to say about that? That's all what they're calling for, but I'm thinking that one of the best what I'm going to say is that Smith has done that with that most of the time, and Wheeler was picking up a lot of point guarding positions. It wasn't easy at all to try to make a big ahead look, but you always know how you get the fill. Swinging it and feeling it. <laughs> That's a fever way. I know, definitely big time. Back <laughs> to play. The fever with the lead. Pass to Saxon. Mitchell. Again, the miss by the fever. Outside Atkins. And good that time. The level of creativity Atkins shows sometimes is flat out special. Love to see her get tricky with it. And two minutes remaining in mean, the first half of the period. Two minutes. Now here's Berger. Pass to Wallace. Now Mitchell. Good. There isn't a part of the court that Mitchell won't let it fly. When she hits from the mid-range, it just increases the headache for the D. Drafted in 2018, Christy Wallace didn't actually play her first WNBA game until 2022. She had to take time to deal with a tough injury, but she has totally bounced back. It's a real credit to her determination and love of the game. Pass to Wallace. Now Boston. Guarded by Dolson. Austin with it. Working on Dolson. Virus from 14. And there the Taylor with another bucket. Nice decision by Boston. She's got solid passing skills out of the post. Here's Hines Allen. Beyond the arc. Mitchell grabs the board. Pass to Saxon. Austin. Here's Berger. Hines Allen pulls it in. And a chance at a two for one if they want it. And I'm not a genius like Brian, but if I'm them, I try for that. Now give yourself some credit, Tim. You're pretty smart. And you can count it. Jill going to the line. A chance to make it three. First person to foul. Strong tick by Hines Allen. Rewarded with a chance to complete the And at times, Maisha Hines Allen acts as a substitution point of order. She has really good floor awareness, whether it's passing, rebounding, scoring. And another thing I love about her is she gets back defensively. Two. I don't know yet. Judy one. And the free throw, no good. A second round success story. Hines Allen, one of those rare non-first rounders, making a major impact in the league. Here's Saxton. Pass to Wallace. From outside the arc. Her shot is good. Making her a perfect two for two from the floor. The Mystics trailing. Now Melbourne. Inside. Here's Hines Allen. Good with the extra effort on the glass. One of the elite. That's the end of the first half. Indiana Fever. 38. 38. 35. And the 
first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going on here. Fever ahead. They're up by three. And we will see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball in just a bit. All right, thank you so much. Time to figure out what the first quarter is in the first half. Let's see what your takes here, gangsta. For Fever. You know how Fever does really well. I could say that there is a lot of passing percentage out there. Working like a charm. A big fit for anybody. They're just going to make that one go over and over. They are doing it really well. And now we're going to take a big phone for Washington Mystics. You know, you say about Mystic, you don't say uh, how that it happened, but that one was like a close angle. A lot of breakdowns here for the defense, and it looks like they're catching up. We'll find out if there is another close quarter in the range to keep it going through. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. Let's send you back to the Sky Booth. As right now, Blake stands by. Blake, all you. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first two quarters. And you look at Heinz Allen, a strong contribution in this one. She broke out her entire arsenal of post moves in the first half, and every one of them was working. Yeah, and I'm going to call her the magician, because I think she might have even a few more tricks up her sleeve, and I think she's going to break them out as we start heading down the stretch. Welcome back. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. Smith outside. That's in there. Kelsey, he's going to do What muscle from Smith, able to push away the defense and still score. Down low. Jolson, shot good. Outstanding entry pass. She knew exactly where to go with that ball. Smith up top. Back to Wheeler. Pass to Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. Samuelson. And she finishes nicely on the layup. Showing her skills in the paint. Remember, Samuelson has those guard kind of abilities, but she's still 6'3. Still has great height. Here's Samuelson. It's Brittany Sykes on the wing. Rebounded by the Fever. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Pass to Boston. Samuelson, guarded by Dolson. From about 16. Samuelson, shot is off. She kind of short-armed that shot after doing a nice job of getting open. Outside, Atkins. Sykes. Great look, but off the mark. And here's Samuelson. Six points for her. To the inside. And she was camped there. And she gets three seconds to fall. And Washington has possession. Here's Samuelson. Just about two minutes into the second half now. The layup missed. Pass to Boston. And here's Samuelson. She's guarded by Sykes. Here's Smith. The 18 footer is right on the mark. Smith. Tracking down a look. You like how Smith doesn't just wait for a shot to come to her. Outside Atkins. Sykes, inside, the jump hook, and it's Dolson missing, the fever leading, pass to Wheeler, now Samuelson, five on the clock, Austin with it. To the line, the official saw the contact, and it was just two. Teams first. It's on Shakira Austin. Attacking with such oh, strength yeah. inside. At Austin. that point, it's hard not to foul the lead of Austin. Chairman of the line, shooting two. Thank you. 
The first free throw is good. And when you watch Aaliyah Boston, you know she's going to bring strength. Man, she is a physical player. Yeah, in season one of the WNBA, she has done a fantastic job. So much success throughout her college years. And I think we all knew that play was going to carry over into her professional career. And so she makes both from the line. Now you talk about Aaliyah Boston. She gives you everything you want to be. Outstanding around the hoop, elite defensively. In Boston, she could even hit threes as well to space the floor. Boston, that one falls coming off of Stephanie Olsen's feed. I know she's doing her best to carry them, but she can only do so much. Things would be different for them if she was getting a little more help. Now here's Mitchell. She's got seven. Boston, guarded by Austin. Pass to Mitchell. Green shot on the way. And it's Austin with the rebound. Here's Samuelson. He's guarded by Boston. Here's Sykes. Faked in off the glass. Once inside, Sykes commits to the play. She'll work around contact if she has to. Pass to Samuelson. Out to the left wing. Here's Boston. An amazing finish with a hand right in her face. And Washington has possession. Seven point differential. And this is the sixth ball time here. Yeah, coach wants to get everybody on the same page out there. Maybe change up some things as well. Yeah, that's probably a good time now. You might as well talk things through. And we'll kind of change that gameplay as well. What a crazy one to take. That's a lot of the work in the gap. Yeah, of course they do. They really have a lot of efficiency out there. Keep moving the ball. Try to do the best of it look as you can. The WNBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by AT&T. Connecting changes everything. State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by Nike. Winning is in for any everyone. Just a couple seconds and we'll get back into the line, so we'll get you tight. Alright, we're all set to go. Back to you, Blake. So the team's making some changes here. Here's Melbourne. She's covered by Mitchell. Pass to Walker Kimbrough. The Mystics again can't hit. And here's Mitchell. Saxton. Here's Wallace. Here's Samuelson. And another three for Indiana. Honestly, that might be the last player on the floor you want in with him. Can't let Samuelson get comfortable. She'll burn you. Hines Allen. She's covered by Mitchell. You try to double clutch her like that, and a lot of times you only one and a half it. Pass to Berger. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. To the wing on the left. Here's Samuelson. Good D by Maisha Hines Allen. Great defense right there to prevent one of the best finishers in the league from converting in close. On the wing, Shatori Walker Kimbrough. Austin. And she makes that one. Oh, what a big game for Austin, attacking with reckless abandon. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assists. But everybody's involved offensively. It's in a way helping you defensively too. Now here's Berger. Pass to Mitchell. Shoots the three. And another three for Indiana. She has really deep range. Mitchell's offensive game starts with that three-point shot. It forces defenders to pick her up at half court. And here's Richards. And there's the defensive. Defensive Riley. 
and a great honor for Kelsey Mitchell winning the Community I Leadership Award in 2023. Yeah, I and mean, it's amazing. Kelsey has done incredible work in her hometown of Cincinnati. Mitchell helping young student athletes pursue their dreams, providing sports equipment and support. Substitution for the Mystics. Stephanie Dolson, Brittany Sykes, Ariel Atkins. Sykes outside. High post try. Wallace with the board. And here's Indiana. Pass to Berger. Here's Saxon, guarded by Austin. From 12 feet out, Saxon, that's good. When you have Berger on your squad, you want her making the decisions. So it's Washington now, down by 12. Sykes. Now Samuelson. Nine points in the game. Pass to Berger. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clubs. And can't cash in from close range. That's the way you want to defend. Nice job there. Always so important to have that strong interior team. And a foul called on the shot. Got on the way up that time. With the detailed offensive approach, Williams understands how to attack at the right times. First trip to the free throw line for her in this one. Free throw line, two shots. The fourth overall pick by Brittany, Brittany Sykes is a big one to do Boston. one thing, score, and she has provided a punch. And number 10, Lily, look! State Farm assist of the game. And she might not be pass first playing out of the two guard spot, but she shows here that when she needs to, she can dole out assists. That's right. You know, that's not her primary duty, but when the situation calls for it, she can do it and do it well. It's the full color again for Let's Let's get back in in the fourth. Hey, so no. Sykes outside. Pass to Samuelson. Launches a three. Hands it from downtown. And now both of these teams really in a groove here late. Yeah, and this game was already high scoring, but they've really taken it to another level here down the stretch. Such a That's a jump ball. Foul for the ball, and the official signals a jump ball there. Jump ball call. Oh, it's Washington now. The Mystics trailing. Pass to Atkins. Right to the paint. And that one's good. Austin. Yes. A capable distributor. Atkins is able to see the big picture within the game. 
Here's the three. Atkins grabs the board. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over one minute play. with the lead. Pass to Smith. Wheeler. The 15-footer. Offensive rebound. Here's Mitchell. Austin outside. Back to Mitchell. From past the yard. chances, two offensive rebounds, but still come up empty. Now here's Atkins, guarded by Wheeler. And Wheeler comes to help, sights. The three-pointer, no good. Well, it's not a bad look for her on that shot, but it just doesn't seem to be her night. And look, everyone has it. Shot's good, I said. This is a size to have a presence inside. Smith continuing to work on that technique, and she is getting better with each season. Uh, Washington uh, Mystics here. The Mystics decide to talk it over. Hey, How about the WNBA debut for Melissa Smith? She had 13 and 13 in her very first game. Okay, after going second overall to the Fever in the 2022 draft, Smith first out of the gates with that double double, sending a clear message to the league: I'm already a force inside. And how about that communication here? Now, Ilya Boston had just definitely made that one a great pickoff. It was the best one that's happened. Oh, yes. I feel like that happened already, but that was like an amazing to pick up a good look in between. Gotta say now, there was a bunch of chance effort. Gonna keep on coming down the floor. And with the next game, that's got the last game that is coming in now, we have these, the Minnesota Lynx, and they are at Los Angeles at Crypto.com Arena. And here we are facing against the Los Angeles Sparks. This will be the last part of the game here on WNBA. Then, with YIHC teams, we will be showing you what this will be look like. Right in between the line to have the digit numbers. For the first playoff pick, right here on the WNBA on 2K Sports. And don't miss preseason. That will be starting soon on November. And then the regular season starts in December for the NBA and NHL. Now back to you, Blake. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Boston with it. Now guarded by Dolson. Pass to Wheeler. Boston. The basket good off the assist from Erica Wheeler. Boston showing serious confidence in her J. Boston just so skilled. Here's Samuelson. She's covered by Mitchell. Dolson with it. And the layup's good off the glass. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter now. Austin outside. Pass to Samuelson. Wheeler. Smith. Guarded by Dolson. Samuelson. Here's Sykes. The three-pointer off the mark. Early on, she tried to shoot her way out of this funk, but now that it's later in the game, I think she might want to just give it up and look for her teammates to do the bulk of the scoring. Back to Wheeler. Takes the three. That shot off. So it's Washington now. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Here's Sykes. It's good from long range. Puts her awareness on full display. Sykes knew exactly how much time she had for the catch and shoot. Pass to Mitchell. Now 
now Samuelson. She's guarded by Sykes. Samuelson shot is off. Over to the left wing. There's the three. And another three for Washington. They made a great run to make this game close again. And now is no time to take uh, their foot off the gas. They've got to keep going. And I'm sure they will. I mean, they're close enough to taste it. And they're going to keep the pressure on and just keep on coming. They made it just so hard to make the comeback all the way to take the lead, though. Pass to Dolson. All along. Mitchell grabs the board. Yeah, she found herself in space and just rushed the shot a little bit. Uh, two minutes remaining in regulation. Two minutes. Now here's Boston. Guarded by Austin. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Samuelson. It's on target from the high post. You might not expect her to shoot from here, but Samuelson's a high IQ player. Understands the value of the mid-range jet. It's outside. And it's a complete basketball player. Atkins' composure in big moments is that of a veteran. Pass to Mitchell. To the middle. Makes that one for her six of the night. She's been a very healthy She's had such a steady hand, and I think watching this game, she's the one responsible for giving them this lead late. Yeah, her shooting percentage is unreal right now. She was late to get there. The ref couldn't give her a free pass on that one. Boston outside. Back to Wheeler. Smith. Good for another bucket. She's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. Well, if it wasn't already out of reach, it is now thanks to the spurt that they're having. And why put on the brakes now, Tim? I say just keep on firing. And Brian, you want to run up the score? Now here's Wallace. Not a lot of room. Pass to Samuelson. Now here's Wheeler. Samuelson. She's guarded by Sykes. Here's Smith. It's not going to go for her. Good work defensively by Stephanie Dolson. Here's Samuelson, and another miss by Washington. Now here's Smith. Pass to Samuelson. Your final score for a nice game. Beaver, 71, and Mystic, 62. You gotta defend your own team when they really see the rebel about to turn to that. These pieces will like to think things right now to do here. And that's a wrap, everyone. Along with Brian and Tim and Jim and Blake, I'm Blake, and this has been a presentation of WNBA. So long, everyone. What a great game this is. Thank you guys, and with all the hard work, we couldn't appreciate you more. And with the total statistics in between, here's a team comparison of how they did. 90-59 percentage here for the field goals for Indiana Fever. And it was only a tough shot here in between 7 and 7 by 54 percentage over 47. It was the Fever that had a little bit over the range with the free throws being get taken. And the fast break points happened to be with 5 and then 46 for the points in the paint. And the second chance points here was only 3. Bench points is only 13 points, 26 assists, 5 rebounds, and 25 defensive rebounds in between for the Indiana Fever. The Washington Mystics only got two steals, but a great block happened before the shot clock turns off for a shot clock violation with the Indiana Fever. Two turnovers wasn't even easy enough for them. Two team fouls was Indiana Fever.
The biggest lead was 12, and 15-12 was their time of possession. Do you think that this one turned to be great? I hope you really enjoyed this one. I'll send it over to Gangs the Beast for the three star players of the game. Alright, thank you so much there, Mifo. And now it's time to see what goes in. It's going to be one great take it away. The first star we're going to give it off to is Elia Boston. He had 13 points. He only had 7 rebounds with 2 assists. Out of 5 at 9, 7 field goal percentage and only one 3 pointer. He, she had definitely made. Definitely a hard one, but I think it said it would. It was really well. 17 performance effort was excellent, but she had to accumulate all of the circum steps. Got to go for going. Alyssa Boston, better place to be. Then the second star player goes to Shakira Austin with 14 points, 6 rebounds, 1 assist, and 7 out of field goal range. Definitely done so well. 16 performance effort. Not so bad at all. I mean, you have to play hard with like you mean it. And your first star player of the game, well, you got to say hello to the India and the Fever. Play well, Katie Lou Samuelson with 15 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 assists. You only got nine. She had done one steal with six out of nine field goals. One three-pointer was given up here from here, but it matched me and Andy Everhand. Then it was two free throws, perfect percentage out there, and a 21 performance. Katie Blue is a star. Don't you think there? I think that was a great one to have a great game. And something else that you should say now, that Katie Lou Samuelson, she's going to go bake it for every game. Ready for a postseason. Dream on! <laughs> That's what I always just think about it the more. Always say do, never say never. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this part of the game and found it interesting. If you really like this video, don't forget to check out some other videos here of the NBA playlist section. Or you can send on down to NHL playlist here. All of them are in the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to his channel because if you don't, somebody's going to take over you and you're going to get swat away. If you think you can handle more baskets, I bet you could. If you don't, you best go check out other videos as well, instead of this one. Well, you got reaction videos out there. Great, great to all the people who know who got good comments. We're about to see what goes in. What's next? What's next? You'll find out next time. Well, that's your do here for today. Thank you all for tuning us in, and until next time, for a while, as the WNBA on 2K Sports Style. This is Gangsta, and I am Phone 4 Thank you for joining with us. We'll see you next time. Have a great day, everybody. So long. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.